Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour on this Wednesday, the 3rd of August. A couple of things going on right now is that the the oh, the peaks that were made, remember the Chapman Wave methodology, the objective is to always try to get you from a buy signal to upgrade to a buy mode with the implication that there should be at least four higher peaks. The implication being that uh, the tide has changed from down to up, and that up uh, the, the tide rising should lift whatever the vehicle you're trading to at least four higher peaks if there is an upgrade to a buy mode. At that particular point, other things can happen. You could have the sharpest pullback. Let me just show you the diagram right here. There it goes. Okay, move that away. There it is. So within the context of looking at the tide, what we're trying to assess is have the technicals improved enough to be able to have the momentum build to the extent that you go to a first peak, alphabetize A, one penny above that goes to leg B, turns down, makes a peak, that becomes a peak, B, one penny above, that starts a leg, C, and that continues until the fourth highest peak, peak, D. In the alphabetization of the Chapman wave, you can go all the way to a G, there's never an H. In other words, seven peaks. Uh, when it recycles to another peak after that, you either have something wrong, or you have an instant restart, or you just have to go back and see, maybe you missed one, but there's never an H. So that says, at D, my expression is other things can happen. Well, within that context, what are we looking at? We're looking at in the daily chart of the Dow, go to it right here. We've gone, it's a little slow because I've got so many things up here. Oh, this is uh, this is Baba, uh, Ali Baba group. I've got it in the daily, weekly, monthly, and you can see. What did it do? It went to a peak. This wasn't what I was going to discuss. In fact, I was going to the Dow. But look, Alibaba went to a peak D right here around about the 12th of June. It pulls back very sharply, starts another buy mode and goes to peak A, B, C and even goes to a D. Where does this stop? I mean, I couldn't have made this up. This is what I'm going to be teaching in my webinar a week from today. The 200 period moving average in Alibaba, Chinese uh, type of Amazon stock, is Look at this. When last did it even touch the 200 period exponential moving average in the in the work that you do? Did you even have to notate that there was a 200 period moving average? Because the last time it hit it, I'm just scrolling to the left, scroll, 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 and there it is. It made a high, a 269 round number high. Oops, a whole series of highs uh, on the 200 period moving average back in December, January, February of 2021, going to 22. But the high was 319.32 on the October the 27th of 2020. Oh, so that was all 2020, then 2021. And what it did, it went to a peak E with an arch formation. And the 200 period moving average for the first time in a while was touched right there. On the 10th of November, 2020, uh, round number 280.00 was a high, and it hit it, and that was it. It, it, it. A couple of times, it bounced up above it, but by the time it got to uh, February, um, it was really getting close to sayonara, and then it was just sayonara. It never, since February of 20, <laughs> what was that? 2021. It hasn't even been close. And all of a sudden, we're looking at it today. This is August the 3rd of 2022. 
and we're looking back and what did it do at 121 something or other 120 on the 8th of uh, 8th of July it went to 125.84 so it's been all the way down from the, the the 300s down to 73 had a big spike failed and came back and when peak ABCD pulls back has another peak ABCD hits the 200 period moving average and remember the closer you get to it the more of a magnet I'm going to be teaching you about magnets what, what does a magnet mean it means it's an attractor what happens when it hits it can it become a propellant on the way up or repellent again? Does it magnet? Does it lose its affability? Does it move its its veracity? Well, those are things we're going to talk about. And here you are in this arch formation. Uh, I, I, it's up 80 cents right now at 93.42. That's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about the Dow, which made a leg D right here, and then a peak D with a Doji candle at 32,972 three days ago. That was on August the 1st, and that's where we became a only. What happens is, if the buy mode is so strong that the technicals are saying, hey, you can pull back here, but it's going to take a whopper of a move down to change the direction, all you have to do is, if it, I like to do this as money management, we took a little bit off our diamonds, um, uh, and uh, just a tad, and what is a tad? It is like maybe a 10% off between 8 and 12% depends on, on your 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 own feeling about money management some people didn't do anything some people are still holding it saying hey this still looks really good because the weekly is starting to attack its resistance area the chaff wave inside track repellent zone so here we are in leg D wait a minute the S&P went to a leg C with a doji candle that's the official count but i wanted to also say every once in a while if in one of my if in one of my technical tools there's a little hiccup and there's a, a parallel high for two bars within really just fractions there's a chance that you could call that a phantom peak just so that you're ahead of the game when you get to that peak that says it should be c and if it really is a d you want to just be ready for it, and that's where you also want to do a little money management. Well, the technicals were really strong. The stochastics at 93%. That's what you want to see. That's what I'll be teaching. The MACD is good. The 9 is way above the 14. The price is way above the 9. So I said, let's just do this. I made it pink or red. In this particular instance, I made it pink, um, where the price was in the S&P. And these are subtleties. You don't have to have these subtleties because I use them as just a heads up to be ready so at 3801.79 the next day's high was 3802.58 less than a point it, it, when it's at four, um, 39,000 it's less than a point so I, I said this could be a phantom peak if that's the case then this A is already a B this B is really a C and this C is really a D. And all it says is, just be ready. It's, it's like a heads up. This, this might be happening. But the way it's holding right now, I'd be re reluctant to call it anything but a C. Because 4144.96 will start a leg D, an official leg D. And the high today is 4135.32. Really nice action. Be back in a moment. That's the back in Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's Daily Market Newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So whenever I do my webinars, I like to do live uh, charts. Now, I'm showing you here the Dow right here. This is the Dow with the daily on the, on the left, right? There's the daily chart. Here's the weekly chart, here's the monthly chart, and here is the 120 minute chart made a peak. What is that? Is the 120 minute chart? Uh, it's G. Yeah, so it's made a G and it's pulling back from the G in the 120 minute chart. But wait a minute. To be able to teach a course and do it live so that you know exactly what we're looking at. Uh, and that, that means that you've got projections that you have no clue whether you're right or wrong. You just have to use your technique. That's why it's so important. I like to do this. I like to do it with basically a one-minute chart, like it was the 120-minute the, the chart, let's imagine. Uh, then we, you can use the two-minute, the five-minute, the ten. And those are all the different time frames. And if one time frame gets the top, but the second one, the, the more... The longer term is still looking very good. It means this this could be a buying opportunity. So the way to look at it is you need time frames. You need the Chapman Wave methodology here. And look what happened. What did I talk about? D is the most important because it can go higher. But at D, you need to assess. Well, I put this in. People in the den uh, during the commercial saw me doing this live right here. Uh, I, I, I couldn't believe, in fact, that this technique was working because I, I, I opt out of, of doing anything because my show is coming up. I've got uh, so many charts up because just whatever is being discussed, I want to be able to either go to my, uh, my, my, my upcoming webinar, notations, just all sorts of things up. So this is a very full uh, um, Windows application. So I looked at this and I said, wait a minute, that was a beautiful peak D. I've got a left side, right side price time match. And lo and behold, it went to a brand new, I didn't know that it was an, an A, because if you look at this, it went lower than the initial buy signal in the one-minute chart of the E-mini before they went to D. So that has to be a brand new buy. And I thought, how can they? it hit the 200-period moving average exactly for two bars, three bars, and then boom, it took off. And I went to a B, and I'm thinking, in this environment right now, 
I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that the, today, should, should, today should still be part of the consolidation from the peak D in the Dow and the S&P. Um, so let's see what happens. Lo and bold, it comes back to the 200 period moving average. Then it makes a gray A and a B underneath the previous B, exactly. So that gets counted, but I usually call that gray. And that means it's really important because if you break out to a new high above this, that becomes a really uh, uh, that's like an overlapping wave. That's like a like uh, where, where two streams are coming together and becomes even more powerful. And lo and behold, it goes to a C. And look at this. If you use the technique that I discussed so often of this nine, the green moving average, look at that. Keeps in the trade. And what does it do? It actually goes to D. And then what happens at D? Little doji candle. Boom, it pulls back, and where does it go back to? It goes back towards the 200-period exponential moving average, but in this case, it's the first time that it's got a coincident high of a peak E with a doji candle in the five-minute chart. That's what I'm saying. You can use different time frames, and it really helps. So that makes this pullback a little bit more serious because there is an E in the five-minute chart. Okay, let's get back to our story here. Uh, we're looking at... I don't remember how far I got. Oh, the S&P. Look at the uh, QQQ. Now, the QQQ, this is going to become a little bit of a mixed picture in the sense that the Qs now have, for instance, PayPal is in the QQQ, uh, the NDX 100 trading uh, vehicle. Um, and, and it's had a fabulous day today. That's helping. But I suspect that if you really look at it, you've got quite a number of uh, – tech stocks that have done quite well and are having some kind of a pullback today. So in a sense, what I'm looking at a very quick D to E still says you've got to be a little bit careful, even though we are along the Qs, we are uh, the TQQQ three times long, taking little bits off because that's a trading vehicle. We want to we want, at some point I want to get into the Qs as a, as a, a position um, rather than very the very volatile one coming off the low, it's fabulous to get into those because the percentage gains 28 percent, 32 percent. It just comes along very quickly. But then, what do you do? So I'm I'm preparing my subscribers for the then. What do you do? And here we are. We finally got that D in the 120 minutes in the QQQ, and it says at this particular point it might be a little bit more of a struggle going ahead for at least a couple of hours. So that's the way I'm looking at it right now. But the tide has turned in the daily. The weekly uh, uh, to from a buy signal to a buy mode, it's, it's reached its goal of three, four, above 314.46 in the cup formation. And there it is at three, what's the high today? 320.42. The 200 period moving average is all the way up at 327. I don't know if this is the move that's going to get it there. I think we might have to have a pullback and then we start to move up. Meantime, back at the ranch, she has the Chapman Wave inside track. We're going to be talking about that in my, my uh, webinar in great detail because it is so important. It's also a falling axe formation. But what we're really looking at right now is that uh, leadership at um, up 1.44 percent, up 459 at 318.91, says that the Qs, with that whole area of that was just decimated over the last seven months, six months, let's say, uh, has had a month where a lot of the very, very volatile tech stocks are starting to find some support for at least a pretty decent bounce. And now what we're looking at is the IWM. This is a leg D still. It's extended that leg D for about four sesh, five sessions, actually six sessions since peak C. And we'll see what happens here at this D. And here again, the left side target was that area of 190. I think it was 192.43. 190, uh, did I get that wrong? Oh, 190, 94. So um, that's something we're looking at. We're at 188 right now. Um, and it's getting close to some kind of a digestive phase um, as it bumps into resistance. And if you're looking at, I'm um, going to go to the SMHs. The SMHs and advanced micro devices uh, had a disappointment last night and pulled back quite sharply. I don't know where it is right now. But all, in, all told, I'd be saying, that the semiconductor we are along the semiconductors, the SMHs had been so badly beaten up. And my thinking here is that there's a real good chance that the chip, that the chip shipments are going to start coming on very soon. And then we will have to see 
how it alleviates some of the uh, some of the volatility that we've seen in so many other sectors like the autos. Talk about volatility. Talk about the autos. Look at this. Uh, Ford is saying, what's semiconductor uh, scarcity? Huh. We've gone from 10.51, 10.61 to today's high of 16.15. I would say 60% again is spectacular in, uh, in Ford. And that is really a good sign. So it means that any consolidation, if it went back to the 13s, uh, still has it very nicely off the lows. If you look at General Motors, uh, General Motors is trading right now. Mm, come on, General Motors. Uh, General Motors is up at dollar twenty-two, and uh, let me just get this right. There it is. In leg. Is that COD? I think that made one penny difference right there. So we went from. 36, 36, 98. Yeah, there it is. This is leg D. So many leg Ds. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So just using the chat wave technique and what I'll be teaching, look, in General Motors, if you go to the left side high uh, of uh, 30, what was that? Of 39.64 on the 1st of June, it comes down sharply. And it makes a low at 30.33, I think it was. Yep, 30.33 on the 5th of July. If you use this low as your plumb line for the cup formation, that is the quarrow, that is the quarter of a semicircle on the left, and you do, you do the same thing to the right, you get that high at 39.33. Oh, so that was the low. That high of 39.54 as a target for today. Well, that's a mathematical formula. I'm very visual. 
So I would have chosen that. In fact, I did. I don't know why I took it away, but I did just briefly uh, had taken it. And then I sort of left it alone. I thought, ah, in these conditions, would General Motors and Ford move that sharply with the chip shortage? Well, let's face it, they did. Well, um, look what happened. Today's high is 38.19. So it missed by just over a point the exact time. But all you need to do now and it is leg D, and I always say a peak D underneath the previous major peak. I, I prefer to see leg C going right through the previous high. So this is, now you've got to be a little bit cautious. But wait a minute, the stochastics is 94%. The MACD is good. So what I'm looking at here is Chevron wave inside wedge target resistance line suggests the same sort of thing. Uh, but what we're really looking at here is that I could, now, at this particular point, it's done almost everything you wanted. It just hasn't quite gotten, gotten there. Now you've run out of time. So now you have to find a candle. And that's what I'll be teaching as well in my webinar. Which candle and what, what, what are you looking for now to be able to move the plumb line? This is the plumb line. What is the plumb line? Let me just go to this here. This is the plumb line. This is part of what I'm doing, preparing for um, preparing for. My webinar. The plumb line is the midpoint that you try to identify as this is something we're long. The target was 52.37 by uh, yesterday. If you use the exact plumb line, and the uh, I didn't do this because that wasn't the purpose of this particular slide, um, it went to what? It went to 50.71. So it's missed it by a point and a half. Uh, and it's a day late. So now you look for where would I move the plumb line? Often you're just trying to develop techniques that give you a heads up on what, you project, what you're projecting, right? It's not like, oh my God, it failed. No, it didn't fail. In fact, it was fantastic. It gave you the quarter, the, the quarter of the semicircle on the left for the boat. Here comes the right side of the boat, the hull, and here we are. So it's, it's amazing. It worked fantastic for one that we got stopped out of when I did something dumb. Uh, look at that left side. Look at that beautiful cup formation. And look at, and in fact, I'll do it. I'll show it to you live here. Yeah, trying to get back in, but we haven't succeeded. Look at that. I did a plumb line right there. And my target was to today. Uh, I've got one more day to go. And uh, in the number of bars on the left equals the number of bars on the right based on the left side uh, low in this uh, semicircle. Um, and it also just failed. Oh, that wasn't the one. I just did general. I said, gee, this looks like the general motors chart. No, it's this chart right here. Yeah. So this did everything. I mean, I chose, the, I, did, I did the drawing, this, all of this, nothing here has changed. This is exactly what I did for subscribers. I even showed you the chapel wave inside wedge uh, inside track propellant zone that it, it held. I showed you the 200 period moving average which became a springboard, everything except I tightened the stop just a tad too much and instead of get, holding it all the way through to today's high of 102.21, we got stopped down. So that's a real shame and it is in leg C and look, 101.71 was the left side target. I did the, all the drawing, everything and that's what you're going to learn to do. D does it have to be as complicated looking as what I've got here? No, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. You, in fact, I'm going to show you that you could just type in the number that you're looking for and then close your eyes and wait and see what happens. Okay, so that's, that's part of the techniques that I'll be doing. All right, let's get back to our story here. I just wanted to see I had that signal from the peak D top. Yep, there's the peak D top. There's your dreaded H pattern. What's the dreaded H pattern? Within the context of all the patterns I look at, there are only three major, the real core core. Uh, lines, straight line up or down, there's your straight line down, then a cup formation or an arch formation or a combination, and here you are, you got this as a combination, it is. It looks more like a V, inverted V, and what did it do? It went up and it went down, so if you don't have uh, semicircles in your toolbox, that's okay, what you need to do is you can go up and down, and that makes the 200 period moving over the E-mini at 41.19, Really important because if it starts to trade under that, it means your fabulous 200 period moving average support has failed. All right. So these are just live. I mean, there's nothing here. I can't make up anything because you're looking at it live. You're watching the chart. You're watching it now at 41.20. Does it go to 41.18 uh, in the next two bars or so? And that'll say, uh oh. And not only that, I didn't have a chance to do it because I've been talking. What about using the same technique 
for the left side, right side, price time match. Well, let me just do that live. I mean, after all, these are the techniques that I'm talking about. Oh, there it is. It plunged right through. This is live, folks. There's nothing I can make up here. This is what I do all day, but I'm not doing analysis for subscribers for the next day's uh, positions that we want to have. I do this. Look at this. Left side, right side, price time match. Boom. Make that pink, stays pink. You don't have to have all these colors. I'm just doing this because it just makes it much easier for people to visualize. Right? Oh, come on. Just a little slow here because I've got so many charts up. And lo and behold, oh, I'm, I apologize. It is one bar late. It's a minute late. What can I say? It's a minute late and it took out that left side low. Is that a technique or is that a technique? So these are things that we, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to show uh, people who do technical analysis. And look, you didn't, do you need to really to be able to count the waves A, B, C, D? I love that if you can do it. Look how easy this was. Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. There was no obfuscation. Peak D is what you expect. That's where other things can happen. Boy, did other things happen. It took a dive from 41.36 down to 41.15. I would say... A 20-point uh, decline in such a short period of time can make you quite a bit of money. So that's really important. to bear. And now you're starting to find some support to see if you can retest this, the resistance, um, which, was not, which was support, now it's resistance of the 41.19 area. Okay, this is all live. There's nothing here made up because there's nothing that can be made up because I need to be able to show you the veracity of a technique that uses these particular aspects all the time over and over and over got to have that out the way and now what we're looking at is the questions have come in so did i finish let me just finish this the tlt i uh, made a, a, a peak e if there's no new high today it went to the left side right side so this is what i like to teach there are narrow rectangles that can last a lot longer than your patients and there are wide rectangles that if they find support and start to make higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lower highs and lower lows, then you're looking at the chance of a Chapman wave buy signal going to a buy mode to at least a peak D, just under, right on, or just above the previous high. And then if it takes out the midpoint, I've even drawn this in, the midpoint of the rectangle formation, which has this lopsided cup, the cup I call the gravy cup because it's lopsided, uh, then you've got to look at it and say, oh, wait a minute. Um, there's something going on here that could be very important. And look at this. In the weekly chart, the TLT, all it's done is a leg B. And all this time, it's managed only to get, to, and in fact, it's still under the 14 period moving average. I'll talk about it when I return. Dow's up 179. S&P's up 29. We're talking about the TLT, down 28 cents. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, uh, folks, let's do a couple of uh, things here. Oh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, White Shark in Boston. Hi, Sharky. How are you? Hi. How are you, uh, Basil? Uh, yeah, I'm I was, wanted to try to look at. Uh, it looked like A B E O was kind of in a rectangle formation, and I don't know if it broke out of it. And I don't. I'm just trying to uh, think about an entry and stuff, and your thoughts on Can it. Can you give uh, me Basil. the symbol again? What's the symbol? Yeah, it's, it's A V E O. Oh, A V E O. A V E O. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's got that. We've got that A V E O. Yes. Yeah, so this is a pattern that I talk about a lot, and I, especially in the futures, it's unbelievable how many times this happens. You, you make a peak D or E, and then you start a pullback, and um, this is A V O, which is uh, for A V O E O Pharmaceuticals. And these mini biotech stocks, some of them have had unbelievable, oh, this has gone just in the last month or so, it's gone from the fours to the sevens. I mean, that's a, a 80, what is it, 80% gain? Fabulous gain. Yeah. So now what we're looking at is this uh, peak D technically should have had a down arrow, but I was watching it and the nine was so strong that it never really gave that signal. So I didn't have a look at this over the last few days. It was on my list. Uh, it's been spoken of quite often. And I was going to do this and say, hey, this is the, one of the most fabulous patterns that I look at all the time. And it's basically the rectangle formation. But within the rectangle, you've got a, a cup formation. And usually what this does is it goes back to the previous high it doesn't always go to a D, but if it does, it goes to peak A, a peak B, a peak C, all under. It's amazing because it's all underneath the previous high. And this is the previous high was at about 750. And this is now trading between 750 and 653. You would never expect that you could get a peak A, a gray A. Whoops, I've got to capitalize it. It's on the upside. A, then a B. And then what's the rule of thumb in a rectangle formation that starts to form the gravy cup? That, it, in it, fact, it, it can go just under, right on, or just above the previous high. And then you've got to be careful. That's kind of what I'm looking at in the TLT. Then the rule of thumb okay. is if it takes out a half of the rectangle formation on a closing basis, be careful because not only could it touch the left side low, in this case 652 or so, yeah, it could go even lower. But what's even more important is, I drew this, I can't remember, did I have this as one of the positions that we were looking at to buy? I think so, that's why I did all the work. In the weekly chart, it made, I can't believe this, it had left side, right side, price, time act. Folks, this is not planned. I had not a clue that Sharky was going to call. I had not a clue that it even talk about AVEO. To tell you the truth, it was completely off my radar at this particular point. But I had drawn in a left side, right side price time match in the weekly chart at 7.55, November of 2021, slides down to 306, 
then double bottom, the H pattern, the double bottom H pattern at 307, and then screams back up to where? Today's high of 757. This is the week of the matching time frame. Look, there it is. I haven't changed a single thing. And there's the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. So it's met all the criteria. Are you looking? Are you in it? Are you looking to get in? What's the story? I to get in, but I was I was looking for it to come back at the bottom of the triangle uh, Basel one test, you know, test on on the daily that that where it's touching uh, the triangle there. Um, you know, I was I was looking for it to come back and and, and then just see how it did if it if it went so, you know, if it busted let, down through the triangle. So a couple of things. In the long-term aspect, this is a stock that was had a spiral up to 18 in one month and then plummeted down. It went from 6 to 18, back to 6 in the same month. So that yeah. tells you this is a – I mean, I would have taken one look and said, whoa, looks like a biotech to me. <laughs> well, it is a yeah. biotech. So it's done everything that you would expect. Now comes the most difficult part. Because it yep. is in a – because it is in a um, – in a buy mode, in all time frame, in all time frames up to the weekly, that's the, the 120 minute chart, the daily, and the weekly, not the monthly. Monthly is still looking very poor. All I yeah. can say is risk reward, and on a seven dollar forty one cent stock, even if it could, even if it pulls back to between six and five fifty, which would be a huge percentage. So far, everything looks like it wants to go a little higher. But how do you trade that? And that's something yeah. in, in my webinar on Wednesday, I'll be talking about that as well. Now it's very difficult. It's exactly what happened to us with CF when I, we had got a great position and everything was great. And then I just, I did, oh, I don't know why I did it. I changed the uh, the stop a little too tight, got stopped out, and then it did exactly what we wanted to do. So all yeah, I can yeah. say is the risk is there. If you're a very long-term buy and hold person, then I'd say, you know what, nibble here at 744, but put it in a much better buy at 630. That's where the real entry point would be. But yep. you can watch this go to 750 or 8 and because it's it's in a buy mode. Look how it's, I think it's used up a lot of time. And if you yep. measure the high that was made, I, I don't know if you, you know how Tom uses volume when he looks vertically and he looks at a chart and he says, oh, the volume and he matches up volume. I do the same thing, uh, but with my MACD, stochastic, etc. So the on balance volume made a high. There and today, the on balance volume is much lower, the MACD is much lower, the stochastics is 76 percent. So it says it's just running out of strength, it's a great yeah, looking yeah. stock, but short term. So let's have a look at it together. And I'm just saying to you, I can't give you a number right now because if it takes out seven dollars and 13 cents on a closing basis, it probably could go all the way back to the 650s. So let me just yeah. see what, what's going on here. I just risk reward, it's just too difficult. Um, other than to say it's in a buy mode, why are you even thinking about it? Just start your position. I, just because it's a little toppy, that's all. So I like yeah, it, absolutely. but I'm just going to be. A, I, so I hope it helps. It doesn't help you at all. All I'm saying is hold on because the risk reward now is just a little bit more than I would prepare, be prepared to accept. Thank oh, you for oh, calling. Absolutely. I appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely, Basil, and thank you. That's that, that's what I that's why I called. Uh, th those are my thoughts, and I was uh, like I say, waiting for it to come back towards that six area or so, or whatever. Um, you know. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Thank you and, so and much. Just, we'll, we'll watch. Remind it. <laughs> me. Remind me again if you can. Thank you very much for calling. So, folks, let's okay, just do this. Yep. Bye bye. The, let's go back to the TL. Bye bye. We're looking at the TLT. And the TLT is making a leg E, probably a peak E. If you, this is different in the sense that if you're looking at the previous high at peak D, remember how important peak D is, the fourth highest peak, back on the 27th of May, look at this. The MACD was good, the stochastic was good, but it immediately turned down from over 80% to under 80%. On balance volume was turning down. Now what we've got is that the MAGD is strong, the 90 is way above the 14, the stochastic still weak, it's at 74%, and that just says to you, and I, I, I'm still sticking with my theory, that rates are still, they're moving slightly higher, the hand moves slightly higher, now they've started to come down a little bit, but now I think they're gonna be stuck again, just as kind of sideways move, and that tells me that the 115 area is gonna be really important for the TLT, because if it breaks, 104 closes under 114 at any point in the next two weeks or so, 
that's halfway into that rectangle and that says, whoa, be careful, you can come down quite a bit more. That'll mean rates are going higher. So we're, we're right at a really a cuspy moment. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 222, S&P's up 35, Dow's a traffic target. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yes, well, I did uh, post uh, questions, Damien, uh, s and uh, Yes, I've got a CD, uh, I've got Z ZM, Zoom Video Communications. I've got it up. It's doing nicely today, up 283 at 110.93. I think these form a just horrible stocks are showing some kind of strength and i think that might last just a little longer and then we're going to get the big test of what happens next uh, and that says to me i've got to monitor this peak d uh, the s p will it will it make that leg d today that little missing even a peak c1 c2 will count and that just says I i'm ready for some kind of just a digestive phase uh, for a few days maybe maybe into early next week or maybe just a, a little bit this week We'll be watching it closely. And in the meantime, back at the ranch, um, yeah, the S&P is holding quite nicely. So um, I'm going to say I'm wrapping it up now. I'm not able to do the next hour. And certainly I want to get on with uh, preparing for my for my webinar. Uh, questions have come in. You know, I, I, can, I can only do what I do. I, I, there is no fancy title to anything. It's the Chapman Wave methodology. These are techniques that I've developed over the years decades with not hundreds of charts, thousands of charts, trial and error, 
Some of it, as I say, is mathematical. Some of it is artistic. Look at the little doji low that was formed right there when we we're talking about that arch formation, beautiful arch formation, exactly one minute late in the time frame, uh, and it got to the exact number, and now it's starting to rally, and it's walking the nine-period moving average, and it held the 200-period moving average after about 12 sessions of testing it. So that says the next time we break the 41.20 200 period moving average, that 415 low, 415, 4115 4, 4, 4, to 4114, that's going to be really important support. But there are enough buyers. I mean, we've gone to the Taiwan thing and people seem to say, okay, well, things are okay. So now we're going to be watching this very closely. Um, in the meantime, back at the ranch, all I can say is if the Dow is able to hold over 120 after 130 this afternoon, it could be a good close. That'll be important. And I'll be back tomorrow. Check out my front, the front page of uh, TFNN. How do I enter? What do I do? What are the parameters we're looking for?